video. I hope you're all well and in good health in these difficult times. It was highly requested by you guys that I do something like a behind the scenes video so you can get to know me a little bit better. I'm really excited for you to watch. This was all recorded in January. Please have that in mind. So we just finished rehearsal and yeah, we have about 20 minutes to get dressed. I'm gonna go have lunch and probably practice for about an hour and then I have school again. Just checking my emails and of course going to what's really important, Netflix. I need Netflix to watch while I'm traveling so as you can see I packed more than enough to watch. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite show on Netflix is. I slept in today, which is really nice. I made my luggage. So now I'm just at the train station waiting for my train. So that was a really short and comfortable trip. I'm gonna bed now, it's about midnight here, and I have rehearsal tomorrow morning. I just finished rehearsal. I'm on my way to grab some lunch. Well, I just had lunch and I went to the supermarket to buy something to have for dinner. While I've been practicing, I've been seeing that my G string, it's like getting out of tune the whole time. Also in rehearsal, I had to um, tune my violin a couple of times. So I'm gonna have to change my string. And tomorrow's a performance, so I'm gonna use a used string that I already have.
On the performance day, I don't really have a routine because every single day is so different, but I've always really done a couple of things before performing. I always go through every single passage, through the whole piece, very slowly to get a good feeling in my body and also in my head because you want to be mentally prepared for the performance. I try to keep myself chill <laughs> and not freak out and I reserve some energy for the performance and relax. I always have a nap before performing and I find that super relaxing because I love to sleep. <laughs> concert was really really nice I had lots of fun earlier today there was like a little meet and greet with about 500 children they came to our rehearsal and they listened to it and they they were so well behaved it was lovely to be able to speak to them and meet them and it was really really fun we took a couple of photos and then I'm really happy that certain schools take the determination to actually take kids to at least rehearsals or concerts or museums and just get them a little bit more in the arts and give them a really broader education because you never know as you see as a kid it can make a big impact and i'm so happy if i could make a little bit of an impact to see one of those children that were there today I, that would that would really really make me happy For those of you that went to the concert and are watching this video, thank you so much for coming. I really enjoyed playing for you and it was really, really fun to meet all of you guys. So usually before concerts, I don't really eat that much. So now I'm at a restaurant and, and I'm gonna have some dinner right now. I'm really hungry, so I'm looking forward to eating. This is the last day in Pamplona and I'm leaving soon to the train station. It's been really great here and actually, fun fact, this is where Pablo de Sarasate, the great, great violinist and composer, um, was born. Unfortunately, I was not able to go to his house, but it's an interesting fact, especially for us violinists. watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye!